Well, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 15th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of this morning's numbers, let's look at the Asian sessions first and foremost. The Nikkei certainly down overnight, uh, whilst the Shanghai and Hang Seng certainly higher. Uh, retail sales from China certainly came in slightly on the stronger side, but industrial production came in on the weaker side. Uh, the market certainly seems to be focusing on the China Silk Road news, okay, in terms of reviving growth, etc., uh, especially given the fact that they've actually attributed almost $100 billion towards it, okay, in terms of free trade and uh, certainly seems to be the bastions of uh, global trade at present, especially given the uh, increased protectionism from uh, the likes of Mr. Trump, okay, and obviously the uh, the Brexit scenario as well. Okay, so that certainly seems to be uh, doing the rounds. Now, uh, the other bullish news as well is the uh, agreement between uh, Israel, uh, sorry, Russia and uh, the uh, uh, the Russia and the Saudis in terms of extending oil output uh, cuts. Uh, now they are actually, rather than the six months have actually got, they're actually touting the nine month figure, and that obviously is helping oil prices today. Now, if I bring up the chart of oil, let's just give you an insight in terms of the actual thrust higher so far. Uh, you can certainly see that on the 60 minute chart here now we've uh, hit a pivot lower 47 now we're almost 49.5 so you can see that we're certainly pushing higher now looking at a daily chart give you a better perspective okay ever since we put in that bottoming tail held that double bottom support around the 44 dollar level we've obviously thrust higher now the upside again it's unlimited uh, to be honest with you i mean the last potential uh, reversal that we had from pivot high pivot low we hit the fib 75 percent so pivot high pivot low uh, you still have the 51.5 level to go before we hit that Fib 75. So, so at present, that certainly seems to be the uh, the key diagonal uh, t key diagonal resistance zone for now. Okay, so if they're touting a potential nine month extension cut, that certainly is uh, being bought by the market and certainly is being interpreted as being bullish. Hence, the reason why we've seen the FTSE gap higher to new all time highs today. Certainly, commodities helping. Okay, in terms of uh, other economic news flow, uh, Italian CPI certainly coming in on the stronger side, thereby exerting further pressure on Mr. Draghi. Uh, the PPI and import prices from Sweden certainly came in muted. Uh, we are looking forward to U.S. data now. Uh, Empire State housing market, nothing of any major uh, real importance. Nothing major market shifting. I think the focus really is on China Silk Road and uh, the price of oil this morning as well. We are concerned about cyber security. That certainly is um, uh, first and foremost on the uh, list of traders. But it's failed to make a real impact in Asia and European markets as well to a large extent. Okay, uh, call me concerned as well. Still remain in the background with Mr. Trump certainly uh, his admin in disarray. North Korea concerns as well over the weekend. Now again, the market really hasn't take into it in terms of risk so again uh, as traders we uh, certainly ignore to a large extent as well okay so just bear that in mind okay now in terms of technicals let's see exactly where we are positioned okay daily chart on the German DAX certainly a bearish engulfing candle but bear in mind the weekly chart is a breakout so say that on board as well 60 minute chart on the German DAX we've certainly thrust lower uh, I, I was expecting the fib uh, that the previous resistance equal support to hold and that FIB uh, 60, FIB 38% to hold as well, that certainly has failed. We are pushing lower, but still we remain higher highs and higher lows, okay? The buyer still remains bullish regardless, okay? Let's look, moving on to the 10-minute chart now. Okay, previous resistance equals support, certainly seems to be holding at 12.740. Let's see if we can thrust higher to 12.770, potentially retest that high at 12.830. Okay, at 12.830 certainly has been rejected. We retraced almost 100 points from the high on the German DAX, so... Certainly some food for thought, okay? Uh, certainly seems to be some sort of h &S formation that potentially could brew, and let's see how that unfolds, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart, the French CAC still, it seems to be that we are consolidating within this red candle, certainly a high probability of a bearish, a bear, a bear flag scenario, bear that in mind. 60 minute chart at the moment, holding horizontal resistance at 5415, okay? So I certainly respect that fact uh, as well. 10 minute chart we certainly have bounced uh, from this pivot low here okay so let's see how this unfolds it certainly seems like we are make, carving out some form of h &S formation okay so again keep an eye on the french cac okay looking to potentially break lower here 
on this mini HNS potential reversal pattern. So again, all eyes on the French CAC, okay? Bear in mind the 60 minute chart still is making a lower high, okay? So a lower high, taking a pivot low to pivot high, pivot low. Okay, so we're certainly holding uh, thus far. Okay, so again, that's certainly something that certainly needs to be respected, especially given the fact that we're making a, a lower high at, at present. Okay, so yes, so the French GAC uh, is still making a lower high, holding at FIB 61%. So certainly keep an eye on that in terms of the French GAC. And again, like I said, you have a potential HNS formation. FTSE 100 certainly holding double top on the daily chart, putting in a bot topping tail, even with the uh, oil prices certainly moving higher. Uh, unable to real penetrate and uh, continue uh, continue with the actual pattern higher 60 minute chart still holding horizontal resistance at that 7445 zone okay so again certainly respect that 10 minute chart at the moment we've closed the gap at uh, 7435 okay uh, and let's see exactly where we'll move next okay uh, but again bear in mind we did actually uh, briefly uh, break out of that 7445 zone and uh, we actually did register new highs in terms of euro stocks, let's just look at the euro stocks again. Uh, we had put, put in a topping tail at 3646, and we've certainly been weak ever since. Now, the 60 minute chart again making lower highs, holding that FIB 75 out of 5%, holding diagonal trend line as well, and buyers certainly remaining bearish on the euro stocks. Uh, there is a possibility that we move lower to potentially close that gap at uh, 3585. So, again, that certainly is a possibility too. So, everything is certainly a possibility at present. Okay, so just remain open minded at present. Okay. In terms of the markets, bear in mind you have Miss Merkel certainly gaining power, therefore helping uh, by helping the bias. Uh, North Korea and cyber attacks certainly have been negated altogether. The market doesn't really care. Weaker US data on Friday again, market doesn't really care. Okay, at present you have higher oil prices certainly helping commodities. Okay, and Miss Merkel obviously cementing her power, and when we see post Macron as well, certainly seems the eurozone uh, so, uh, equities certainly please seem, seem to be the place to be. Uh, given the fact that the German DAX made a new all-time all high again today. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.